In today's video, we're going to be comparing three processors from three different 15 inch MacBook Pros to see how they stack up. So for today's video, I have a mid 2012 non retina 15 inch MacBook Pro, a late 2013 15 inch retina MacBook Pro and a 2016 15 inch retina MacBook Pro as well. So going through the specs of each of these laptops, the mid 2012 features the upgraded 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7-3270QM. This processor is quad core and hyper threaded. Moving up to the late 2013, we have a 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7-4960HQ, also quad core hyper threaded. And on the 2016, we have a 2.6 GHz Core i7-6700HQ, also quad core hyper threaded processor. Have you started to pick up where I'm going with this? All three of these laptops ranging from 2012 to 2016 have 2.6 gigahertz quad core Intel Core i7s. So you would think on paper, since they all have the same clock speed, they're all MacBooks, they're all Core i7s, they're all quad core hyper-threaded processors, they should be the same, right? Well, obviously no, because each of these processors is a different generation. On the mid-2012, we have a third generation Ivy Bridge processor. On the 2013, we step it up to a fourth generation Haswell processor. And on the 2016, we're running a more recent sixth generation Skylight. So all of these processors are going to differ in their architecture and their efficiency and their performance. So what I decided to do was run a benchmark. I chose Cinebench R15 and I only ran it once because I just wanted to get a similar cold start sort of off the bat run for each of these computers. So starting with the mid 2012, we had a score of 578 CB. When I stepped it up to the late 2013, Interestingly enough, this computer scored 573. Moving on to the 2016 with the Skylake processor, we scored a respectable 653. What surprised me the most in this test was just how similar the late 2013 and the mid 2012 MacBook Pro were. Now granted, I did only run the test once. I have seen both of these processors score closer to 600, but they were both very, very similar. Does that mean that these processors are the same? Well, no, because the Haswell processors are certainly a lot more efficient, so you're gonna get better battery life out of those processors than the third generation Ivy Bridge. And perhaps unsurprisingly, the Skylake processor creamed both of the earlier generations by scoring 653. I also noticed that the 2016 was a lot quieter under load. Just something to note. So this test was a very cool demonstration for me because it shows how processor architecture has changed. While the mid-2012 and the late-2013 have similar performance, the late-2013 has much more efficient processors. And the 2016 MacBook showed that there's more performance and more efficiency in newer generation processors. One other quick note before I leave you guys today. The processor on the mid-2012 is the 2.6. That was the upgraded, so the higher end model for that year. On the 2013, the 2.6 gigahertz was a build to order option, which you had to add on to the top tier model. However, on the 2016, the 2.6 gigahertz Core i7 is actually the base model. So not only do they have different architectures and different performances, but they also fell in different price brackets. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video. As usual, make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to head over to my subreddit. We've got a lot of great discussions, a lot of cool stuff going on over there, and I will see you guys in the next video.